horses, pirates, and dinosaurs. Yes, you heard that right. Check out what these season five leaks will bring in this video and tell me down in the comments right now what you want to see in season five. In this video, we even find out what the tier 100 skin will be and you won't believe how awesome it is. Click like and subscribe and that little notification bell and let's get into the leaks. So this all started way before season four came out. A guy hopped on Reddit. He made a thread called season four leaks. He gave a bunch of information. Everybody was like, mm, I don't really trust this guy. Then it all started coming true. He said the Comet target is Dusty Depot and not Tilted Towers. Obviously he was right. He had predicted a bunch of other things. He also said by the end of season four that Moisty Meyer will be gone and, and will be replaced by something else. Now, this guy was so correct. It wasn't just a coincidence. Apparently he was an epic tester. A uh, bug tester, he was supposed to find bugs. Epic found out who he was, no idea how, but guess what, they're suing him. Obviously a big company like this would have to hold to their contracts, which this guy apparently signed an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement, meaning you can't say anything. The guy's name was Internet Adam, he's now being sued by Epic Games. Now just about 20 hours ago, a thread popped up on Reddit, it's called Fortnite Season 5 Leaks by a guy named The Internet Explorer. He starts out by saying, by now, everybody's heard of Internet Adam, an account leaking. I think he means an account leaker. You'll see he has some trouble with some English at the start of this, which makes it a little less believable. But I mean, what do we know? Maybe he's just not so fluent with English. He said, Fort, it's info. Not really sure what he means there. He said, who claimed he had a friend who worked for Epic Games. This is Internet Adam who we're talking about. He said... I am that friend, and if you don't believe me, then read this and wait. So he's telling us he's the real deal. Pay attention to this, and these things most likely will happen. By the way, he gets very specific and detailed into this. Either he's like one of the greatest internet trolls ever, or he's the real deal. Honestly, it's gonna be one or the other. He starts out by saying Lonely Lodge will slowly disappear until the only thing left is trees and the tower. More dinosaur footprints will be scattered around Lonely and plants will grow all over it and it will be renamed Jurassic Jungle. Totally sounds like something epic would do, right? Then he says the tower will have vines hanging from it. What was once the lodge will soon be a cave with dino eggs. Awesome. I'm excited. A cave will also be found behind the small waterfall linked to the one with the eggs. Chests can be found by the cave, in the tower, or behind the waterfall. Here we go. Wait for it if you didn't already read ahead. Oh, and there will also be dinosaurs. Epic would totally do this. That was very detailed, right? Just wait till you see the rest of this. And then he says the motel will disappear and become the Wild West location, and the motel will become a saloon. By the saloon, there will be a jail. The jail is a small room about the size of the old motel. And then this is important and kind of unbelievable. Let me explain why it could also be true. The carriages, then he says dead animals and horses will be littered around the area. And then the train rails with a train and saloon will have chests and ammo boxes. Number one, this is Epic Games. There's a lot of young kids that play this game. There's no way they would can scatter dead animals around on this map and get away with it. There would be parents that are really upset. There's parents that are even upset and it's like one of the most gentle action games out there. Anyways, now here's what I think he means by this. You know, like old Western games or movies and stuff, they'll be like sand blowing and usually it's like an animal, like animal bones or something like that. You know, so just, just I, I, that's what I'm thinking. It's just gonna be like uh, some animal bones or something from an animal that, that died in the desert. Who knows? Hopefully there's not like dead horses littered around the area. That would be pretty bad and probably would make Epic look pretty bad too now did you miss where he said a train no you didn't i didn't either if there's a train and if the train actually moves this will be the coolest thing i think of all season five because how awesome would it be to have a, a like a train that traveled around the map that would be the most awesome thing ever you can shoot off of it you can battle on it and everything in between next up he tells us the large soccer field will become the pyramids of giza and the lion statue that's at the pyramids right now will be the great sphinx again with the details he says the pyramids are accessible through every side and the top of the pyramid the sphinx can only be accessed from its behind <laughs> giant sand dunes will also be around the area chests and ammo boxes can be found in all areas i mentioned above Next up, this was something that actually I think people have known about for a long time. I think I remember seeing a video or something on it. It says Pirate's Point will replace Moisty Meyer. So it won't be down next to, what was it, Flush Factory or something like that where people were assuming it would be. Pirate's Point will replace Moisty Meyer. There will be pirate ships on the sand, a pirate camp 
filled with decor like gold, skulls, cannons, and a cave you can enter and loot. The boats in the cave apparently will have chests is what he says. Are you guys believing this guy yet or not? Put down in the comments whether you believe this guy, whether you don't. Like I said, in my opinion, he's either the greatest troll that Epic will ever see or this guy knows his stuff. I mean, this is very detailed information and even to come up with specifics like this would actually be very difficult to do um, and all of this seems like Epic would would do it so uh, it's it's only a matter of time before we tell if it's true or not and I, we're gonna tell pretty soon lucky landing will be removed which i heard that was just gonna happen anyways i don't know what it's gonna be replaced with due to it being a seasonally themed location makes sense it will be replaced with captive castle a castle with walls around it the castle will have an armory with swords and stables for horses chest and ammo boxes will get me found in the area like he's told us with every other location now this is where a lot of people don't believe him and he actually caught a bunch of flack about this in the comments animals will be added into the battle royale universe all animals are just like decorations they are blocking you from walking through them and it can and it says and can it be broken it can be broken i don't know can i mean would epic again add an option where you can kill animals it seems like that would be a pr nightmare as you guys might know the news is already all over epic just because it's such a big game and uh and and people like to create hysteria and upset people's parents and stuff just because it brings in good ratings on the news but if you are able to shoot animals and kill them in this game i don't think that would be a good look so we'll see maybe there's just animals in there to look cute and you actually can't maybe he meant can't be broken i hope that's the case anyways next up he says a t-rex will be standing at jurassic jungle which is the former lonely lodge and a pterodactyl will fly around the tower how cool is that next horses will trot around the wild west saloon they can be tied to the post outside of the saloon and jail if we can ride those horses around the map oh my gosh how cool would that be uh because we had a shopping cart you know it's not too it's not like too far out to think that epic might put horses in here that we can ride around again as long as like the horses can't be shot and stuff you just make them invincible that's all uh camels will roam around the pyramids and over the dunes hopefully we can ride camels dude this will be the great this this game is already one of the greatest games to ever exist if we can ride horses and camels and there's a train and pterodactyls and t-rexes oh my gosh epic just oh dude i hope this to be true so bad parrots will fly around pirates point and land on the trees boats and caves cool none wrong with parrots haunted hills will have bats flying around it good that makes sense fatal fields slash anarchy acres will now hold cows and sheep in the barns and horses in the stables oh bringing life to an empty farm you guys know me i love my fatal fields but it does feel incredibly empty um, across the map so to bring in some wildlife like that and just make it come alive that'd be amazing now spoiler alert this is a big one this is the tier 100 skin for season five it says it will be the flying dutchman the official skin name is the Cursed Captain. And the tier one skin is the Explorer, who is an Indiana Jones-like skin. All right, so Indiana Jones, Flying Dutchman, called the Cursed Captain, sounds legit again. One of the tier skins is the Time Traveler Scientist, no official name yet, and he will be the one trying to close the portals. Okay, so hold up. Why I believe this, like look at this, no official name yet. If he was lying, he would have made up an official name to make him sound more official himself, to make him sound like he knows what he's talking about. But he's flat out telling us there's gonna be a Time Traveler Scientist, there's not an official name yet. And, and, and his job will be to close the portals. Anyways, he finishes with, I basically just told you all the new and important things coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Do with this information as you will. Do you guys believe it? Do you not? Put it down in the comments. Um, whether you believe it or not, I want to know down in the comments also. Just add this to your comment. Just say what you would be most excited for out of all these things listed by our so-called Season 5 leaker. Is it Pirate's Point? Are you guys into the possibility of riding horses and camels? What if we can ride the pterodactyl? Just saying. I don't know. That wouldn't be too far out there. That would be amazing if you guys have never played the game Ark. You can actually fly dinosaurs around. It's not super hard. I mean... This is epic we're talking about. They make like over $300 million a month. They can get so much done, so it's possible. All of this, to me, if you guys, if you guys care about my opinion here, 
I think it is pretty legit. I really do. I taught fourth graders for several years. Um, this does not seem like a kid who's just coming up with a bunch of stuff. Like there's too many details that he added that seems way too legit. Like I was just talking about how the, he didn't even list a name for the time traveler scientist. He said no official name yet. Again, if he was lying, he would have been like, the name is time traveler Tim or whatever. Obviously don't, please don't. Epic, please don't call it time traveler Tim. But hey, let's say this is all incorrect. You know what? So what? This is fun. I, I love this game and I can see all of this coming to this game. And, and just reading a little bit of fiction story about this is totally fine. If this all comes true, though, I cannot. I don't mind spoilers at all. Honestly, you could tell me anything that's going to happen in season six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't care. I like to know what's coming. And I like I like to, uh, to, to get the hype building up for when it actually does come. So anyways, guys, hit like hit subscribe click that notification bell if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos and uh and i guess i'll see you guys in the next video